Hello and welcome back to the Sportsbook at the Cosmopolitan here on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Patrick Everson for Covers.com. I'm again joined by Jason Symbol, the Vice President of Risk Management for CG Technology. And Jason, we've gone past the NBA Finals, past the Stanley Cup Final. We've got some soccer and stuff going on, but really the slog the next couple of months is going to be mostly baseball. Yep. So let's take a look at baseball. Where are we at in the National League, particularly on the, on the, on the pennant races, with the Chicago Cubs kind of running away with things early? The Cubs have been off to a fantastic start. They've really been unbelievable this year. They were open to 5-2 uh, to two to win the National League. They're down to plus 110, so mm -hmm. you know, basically even odds on the Cubs to win the National League. Mm -hmm. And what's, that, what's that's done is it's taken the other two favorites, both the Pirates and the Cardinals in their division, and it's jacked their odds all the way up. You know, the, the uh, Pirates went from 6-1 to one all the way to 15. Cardinals went from about 5.5, 6-1 to one, all the way up to about 12. So you have big moves on those teams because the Cubs have been so good. And how about some of the other challengers as it stands now in the NL pennant race? Yeah, the two biggest challengers are the San Francisco Giants and the Washington Nationals. Mm -hmm. They've had excellent seasons as well. Mm -hmm. The Giants are uh, three and a half to one, I think maybe plus 340 mm -hmm. uh, on their price. And then the, the Nationals are right behind them at about plus 440. Then you have the Mets a little bit behind them at six to one. That team's a little banged up now, though. All righty, and then jumping over to the American League, where things are a little more wide open, and perhaps some of the preseason favorites aren't where people expected them to be. We're, what are we looking at now in the AL? Yeah, interestingly enough, the favorite in the American League was a team that wasn't one of the favorites to start, the Texas Rangers. They're at about plus 180 to win the American League. Uh, they opened it around 6-1. to one. Uh, Another team that's made a big move is the Orioles. They're one of three teams in the American League right now to have over 40 wins. Open 25-1. to one. They're all the way down to 5-1. to one. Them and the Red Sox are you know, about the same odds. Red Sox slightly more of a favorite, but about the same odds to win the uh, American League, Red Sox and Orioles. And then in the, uh, in the American League Central, you have the Indians, who've made a nice little jump, opening the season at over 10-1 to one and now down to 6-1 to one as well. All right, and how about some of those favorites? Have they kind of declined the preseason favorites in the AL, taking a taking a drop? You've seen some of those teams that take a drop. Uh, the Royals, for example, they were a very popular team coming off a of World Series last sure. year. Mm -hmm. They're off to a, a you know a kind of a rough start. And the team that was the most heavily bet before the season has begun, both in season wins to win the American League and to win the World Series, has been the Houston Astros. Mm -hmm. They got off to a horrid start. They're kind of a little better now. You know, their record is hovering 500 again. But that's a team who we've seen their odds totally plummet a little bit, especially since the Rangers have been so good in the mm -hmm. West. All right, and thank you again to Jason Symbol, Vice President of Risk Management for CG Technology, which operates this fine sports book here on the Las Vegas Strip at the Cosmopolitan, as well as many other fine books throughout Las Vegas. For Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to give us a follow on Twitter, at Covers.